All right, um, hello, good morning. At least I'm filming it in the morning. You're probably seeing it um, later in the day. But I launched a uh, jalapeno cheddar breakfast sandwich biscuit review from the folks over at, right here, in this bag right here, over at uh, Whataburger. And I had a bunch of people say, you got to check out the breakfast burger. So I guess this is a subscriber request uh, from the comment section. It comes with creamy pepper sauce. I wanted some extra creamy pepper sauce maybe for a little dip maybe to take a dip in the pool but uh this was 539 and it's not that big it's not that big but it's telling you up front what it is it's not it's not beating around the bush so we're gonna check this out to the intro What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something. I try something and tell you if you were, if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. I was trying to do two things at once because I had a screenshot of everything that's uh, involved with this burger. It's not a hefty burger by any means and it even says in the description, small bun. I found that um, a little odd. If you're a business, and people are going to, you know, I mean, I do it. We have opinions based on size. <laughs> ladies, ladies. Uh, um, why would you call the your buns the small bun? Why don't you call it like the regular bun, you know, or the original bun? When you put small in the title, I already had a uh, idea of what's going on. And that is a little small. And it doesn't have much heft compared to everything that's on it. So everything that's on it says small bun, small, it even says small beef patty, uh, egg, hash brown uh, sticks. There's hash brown sticks, uh, American cheese, two bacon slices, and the creamy pepper. A little upside down, a little upside down the more you turn me. I think they did this with the other one, or someplace did it. I thought you're supposed to, when it wraps and you open it up, it's right side up. It's kind of smashed down. It's not a melt by any means. But it is smashed down. I guess there's the egg right there. All right, you're seeing it first. Check it out. I gotta find the uh, hash brown uh, sticks. I've never heard of hash brown sticks. Where are the hash brown sticks? I don't... Oh. Oh. What a burger. Are they underneath? No hash brown sticks. A, I'm not going back. It, and it's already past 11. It's past. I'll stop by though. I'll stop by on the way back. I have to review it the way it comes. And that's going to affect the rating. And that to me is the main ingredient in the breakfast burger. Hash brown sticks. I paid the money, $5.39. I will stop in, go inside, and uh, very nicely say, what's the deal? And if you want to see the footage, I'll show you the footage. Because this, no, no. Everything else it appears it has. Mm. All right. Let's do some type of review with this. I'm a little disappointed. I'm a lot disappointed. I, I just don't have time in the day. There's not time in the day for me to go back and do all this. I had to find a parking spot. We're going to get into this. Let's take a bite. All right, we're going to take a bite. It smells great. Looks pretty good. But again, the star of the show, the hash brown sticks. I was even talking to Lupe, roadie foodie fame. And I'm like, have you even ever heard of hash brown sticks? You've heard of the spheres. You've heard of like tater tots. I was excited. Not so much anymore. Let's do the hunch. Let's do the burger hunch and take a bite. That's a good burger. Mm-hmm. The egg is thicker than the patty. So I'm not 100% impressed with this small patty. 
but I get it. If it's a breakfast burger, it's kind of making it like a uh, breakfast sandwich you're going to get on like an English muffin or a um, bagel. But um, yeah, the flavor, the creamy pepper. Yes, please. Yes, please. This, I'll tell you, Whataburger makes some really good sauces. I always have their um, spicy ketchup in the uh, refrigerator at all times. So there is the um, sauce right there. Let's go in for a little dip, a little extra dip. There was plenty on the burger. There just, was, there just wasn't any hash brown sticks. But there we go. That's the next bite. Shining in the morning sun. <laughs> here we go. Mmm. Creamy. Peppery. Hence the name. Creamy pepper. This is good. I taste the cheese. Nice bacon. Crispy bacon. Flavorful bacon. Enough of it. You can see the layers right there. Check it out. But... I'm going to rate this for what I got today, but I have a feeling with those um, hash brown sticks, I think a lot of people that commented would probably uh, be right that this is a good burger. Now, normally the size of that patty is something I would kind of uh, stay away from for $5.39, but you're adding the bacon, you're adding the, you're supposed to be adding the hash brown sticks, and you have the um, sauce and this egg, and the egg is a uh, pretty nice thickness right there. It's your standard, you know, circular breakfast egg. But with the hash brown stick, definitely would have elevated the uh, sandwich, not only an actual height, kind of elevate it, not smush down, but it would have elevated the uh, flavor for a breakfast uh, burger. Boom. Oh. oh, on the sweatshirt. On the sweatshirt. All right, what a burger getting me coming and going. Where's the spot? It's down. Yep, there it is. One drip of the creamy pepper sauce. All right, so listen, rating time. I gotta go get some water. I don't believe I have any water in the car. But, um, oh, and it kind of, all right. Let's just finish this. I'll fix this up. I don't want it to stain. But um, on a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the breakfast burger from a Whataburger a rating of. I'm going to give it a 75. I'm going to give it a 75. I'm going to tell you though. If, maybe if they give me a coupon, maybe in the next couple days I will go back and do a uh, retribution video, a return uh, visit video, but that has potential to be in the uh, mid to upper 80s, uh, possibly 90s once I get the full effect of it, but um, I won't know until I finally try it, but uh, maybe I'll give you a little update in the bonus footage on what happened when I went in uh, to talk to a manager, but it is what it is, $5.39, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, there you go. Um, disappointment, but also excitement, which was quickly dashed. And then a pleasant experience eating a very tasty breakfast burger, just not the breakfast burger I was intending to eat today and give the people what they wanted. They wanted me to try it. I listened to you. I shot right out, but it was not to be today. But I want to thank everyone for joining me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate everyone who joined my uh, quick impromptu first ever live uh, in honor of my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. Um, the 20th, January 20th was my 10 year anniversary on YouTube. I went live for about 45 minutes on um, Saturday night. Thank you to everyone who stopped by. Thank you to everyone who has watched the video since then posted their congratulations. I thank you. I appreciate you. And without you, we don't last 10 years. So thank you so much. And we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.